we're not in the skiff, so we're not going to break down all the stuff that they're doing. However, right. all you have to do is look at the cyber threat map and see the amount of activity that is going on worldwide. They're doing it. We're doing it. Other countries are doing it. Yep. And, you know, your intellectual property is more at risk than your actual tactics, you know, which is scary. Like, why? Because I can go down, pull, download a U.S. Army or Russian manual of arms and understand how they're going to fight from a tactical perspective, but from the operational and strategic perspective, everything is happening invisibly. You know, if you look at Ukraine, it's electronic warfare. If you look at everything else that's going on, every time you turn around, like, hey, there's this massive cyber attack and, you know, this company lost hundreds of millions of dollars in intellectual property. Well, guess what, folks? That is the threat right now. It's not uh, day to day, day to day citizen doesn't see it because it's ubiquitous, you know. Most people now are are digital natives ish. Like unless you're like, unless you're like quote boomer or you know one of these folks that have never had connectivity. You know, like if you live off the grid, then it's probably not going to affect you as much. But it could affect you because of everything that's going on because everything's so interconnected now, and that's where it becomes scary. It's not the fact that you know, it's not the fact that like people are intruding on social media or whatever. It's the fact that influences that those platforms have are changing people's thought process and they don't even know it. Right. And